teacher pay teachers tips for beginners, buyers, and sellers. Mainly what I'm going to talk about today is tips for sellers and setting up a brand new account. Could be a very simple video, but I'm going to go through it how you'd set up your account, how you get your first product in, how you use I use PowerPoint. I'm on I'm a Mac person, but I use PowerPoint. I'm going to also show you how to set up with maybe Google Slides. So right now, a great side hustle is to help out other teachers. And Teachers Pay Teachers is a great resource for it. It's easy to start out with, easy to do. I bought products for them for a long time, and I know there's going to be more and more people buying products because, as you know, most schools don't have great budgets for buying things. So you might have to go outside and get things for yourself. So there you have it. I'm going to go from here to my computer and I'll finish up with my computer. But y'all take care. We'll see you on the computer. Okay, here I am on my computer. Well, first thing, I'm going to go over this like you're brand new and you're just learning how to do this. So this is a very going to be a very basic video. Uh, so what I did, I went to Google, of course, and I Googled Teachers Pay Teachers, and the first one that popped up was an ad, and I'm not a big dude for going on ads because I think they start tracking you, which they do. So I just went down here at TeachersPayTeachers.com, and I clicked, and it brought me to, uh, it didn't bring me to that site. It brought me to this site. <laughs> I went too far. Anyway. This is the first page when you get in here. It's just Teachers Pay Teachers, and if you have an account, you get to log in, and, and it just tells you all these different resources you can get. Uh, and you can see most of them are quite colorful. You, you know, the descriptions of them, and I'm going to show you real quickly how to do some of that. N nothing too serious, but we're just going to go through and see if you set up your account. So what you do is you come in here, and if you get to this page, it says either log in or join us. And if you click join us, it's going to bring you here and you get three options. Uh, and the options are to join free. And when I just wanted resources, that's where I was. But then I wanted to start selling. So you can have a choice of a basic seller account, which is free. And then you have a premium seller account. And when I first started, I went to basic. And there's a reason for it because I didn't know if I was going to make money. All right, there's that all part of that. So what, how much money are you going to make? If you're going to be in business, yes, $60 isn't a lot of money. So you can certainly do that. I just went with the basic. And when you go with the basic and you click on that thing, you come, whoop, here I clicked on seller's fees and whatnot. This is what the difference is. Membership fee is free. You get 55% on all your sales. So if you sell something for $5, you get a little bit more than 250 right? Uh, now, I'm a math teacher, so I should know that. But it's like, <laughs> and 30 cents for each resource. 80% if you're on the premium, and it's 15 cents. And you can have much more data. So I went with basic. And I, I think that's probably the best place for most of us right now. Again, this was the sign-up page. I think I have now, when you click it sign, to go to the basic, it comes here and all it's doing is asking you to, to make an account. And the account is really simple. It's just asking your name and last name, email address. Now, I did something, I, I did not put my school address in because some people switch schools. <laughs> and I have many times, not many times, I think four times, four districts. Um, I moved from Wisconsin to Tennessee, so I'm in Tennessee now, but uh, I, if you have a business address, I'd go, I'd go with that. Uh, I have mark at marknelsononline.com or I have a Gmail account. It doesn't matter. You just need to make a uh, password, select your grade range, where you're at, select a country, and I'm not a robot, and that's going to send you the capture page where you got to click on which pictures look like dogs or whatever they put you up to. Okay, so um, now this is where I'm logged in now. Okay, so when I'm logged in and I want to get to this isn't my let me go to 
That's what I wanted to go to. Teacher Spade Teachers. I think I went to my account. And let's see what happens on that. Uh, no, that wanted me to log in. But I'm already logged in. So this is my dashboard. Okay. And this is where you get to when you first log in. It comes um, when you log into your site. And this is a blank site. So it has my name here. It says edit profile. So you click profile. And I'm just going to click a new tab and put it on the next page. So it, it, now, of course, it's going to ask me to log in again. I did not want to do that, but I will early fast. That's my school address. And there we go. Okay, so this sent me to my store profile. I first, it, it's, I come to my profile. It's nothing's been changed. It asks for my address, and then it asks for a store profile. In your store profile, what you're going to do is it has a profile picture. Now you can put your own up there, or you can create like a logo for your business if that's what you want to do. You give it a, a store name, like a See, I'm Mark Nelson, so Nellie's Resources. You can put in a personal quote, what grade subject you teach, any of this that you want to do. Okay. Then what you want to do is payment options. You know, I think what it is, it's set up for PayPal. So if you haven't set up a PayPal account, you'd have to do that. And that's really simple. Um, set up PayPal, you can have it go directly to your bank and you can also have it as payment methods that can come directly from your bank. Uh, you can put down your your favorite sellers you want, your email history, sales and earnings, all that's in. Again, this is a brand new account. So I'm going to go back. Okay, so what I want to do is get here to where if you're on your dashboard. I'm going to go back to my dashboard and it says add a new product. Okay, so Add a new product, what happens when you click here, it comes to this. And it says select a product type. Now there's a catch here because your first product has to be free. Okay. Uh, so I'm just going to go a digital download. Uh, there's the thing is this is a premium membership, but you can do an online resource, select a file from your Google Drive. If you have one on Google Drive, and you combine your listed resource to create a bundle. And I bought bundles before, like whole modules for uh, my classes. People can make money, but a digital download, this is your free product, and it's going to tell you this. It says, congrats on uploading your first product, since the first product you upload must be free. We pre-selected some of the options below. Make sure this free product is 10 or fewer pages. So it's, if you're just starting out, it could be, uh, how to start out the day in your Elder One classroom, or how to start your um, activities for day one in second grade, or whatever it is. But it's asking you to name your product. Now, you can either, this says describe your product and how it can be helpful to another educator, and then you just upload it. It says right here, it says they want to create a thumbnail. So, They'll, when you upload this, they'll create a thumbnail for you, or you can upload your own, whatever is easiest. And I think what you, you need to play with this. That's the, the biggest thing. It's uh, like anything in life I can show you, but how you learn is when you do it yourself. So that's my products. Okay, now what I use, I'm a Mac person. And what I used at first was I try to do, I, I have Word for Mac. I try to do Word document, and it, uh, it just not for me. What I did, I, I went to PowerPoint. And I'm so I'm going to show you how to do a PowerPoint, and I'm going to show you how to uh, use Google Drive. And Google Drive, you can also do two of the slides on and put it there. This is my PowerPoint. If I get up, this is a brand new sheet. Okay, and 
what you need to do is, is this is a regular screen, but you need to change this. So you're going to go to File, Page Setup. And when it asks you, you want your slides to go this way. And remember what a page is? It's 8.5 by 11. And then you just say OK. And it says, would you like to scale content up or down? I want to scale it up. And there we go. And there it is. Now, what I do is I get out of this right now. And I'm going to click that. And I'm going to get rid of this one. And I'm just going to have a blank sheet. OK, now. If you saw on the store itself, it has some very colorful things. So you can do a couple things. Is you can put in a background, or you can put in an image, or you can put in a picture, um, wh whatever you would like to do. It's so if I just went with, I'm going to put in a picture, and what I did, I'm going to show you where I got this. This is in my file. I'm going to show you where I got it, but I, I actually picked a, a border image. So if I insert this, I'm just going to go right there, and there's my border. Now, you can get really fancy. This was just the first one I saw. Now, th this does not have any color in it. If I want to do text, then i got to go to Insert Text Box. And this is, I'm assuming you, we all know how to do this. Hello. Uh, <laughs> and change fonts, whatnot. Now, if I want to get in a new slide here, I'll see if I can show you how to get. Uh, you can tell I haven't been in school for a while because it's like, I want, there we go, a new slide. And it does the same thing. It came in the same size. I want that size. So I'm just going to delete. I'm going to delete. And now what I want to do, I'm going to see if I can just do a, if I can find out where the background is. And if I can't, I'm going to get out of here. So uh, don't go too slow. There we go. Slide background. And uh, this is just going to be a solid fill. And down here is this, the, The color, and I'm going to pick a color here, and I'm going to pick a bright red. Now, there, this is a catch-22, and the district I teach in, we were, they really asked you not to put in colors because we ran out of ink in our in the store. So, but you do need some colorful images. For people to pick up your product so that first thumbnail that page has to be uh, has to have uh, some color on that to attract attention okay so that's a very simple thing on powerpoint and we're going to go to i'm actually going to go to my google drive and show you the same thing before i do that i google remember that border i went to google and all i did was google border clip art for a full sheet of paper and it gave me all these and this was just a free download i just found what i wanted uh, there's a lot of different things you can find in here you, you can make your own if you if you want to do that or you can just go to the site that i did like this okay so this is uh, google slides so this is kind of the same thing but it worked i tried to make it for uh No, I didn't want to go to that one. I want to go to page setup. I hit preview. So let me pick blank. Let me go file. Page setup. And it asks the same thing. It says widescreen 16. No, I got to make this custom. And then. All I do is put the dimensions, 8 foot 5, by 11. 
and I apply. And then I'm doing the same thing, much like Google Slides. So that's easy. You see me moving my screen up and down. I have I've dropped my screen, so right through the middle here, I have a big black line until I fix this, but I'm going without right now. So that's all it is to it. It's a, this is a great side hustle for teachers. And we all right now need resources. You know, the, the districts are running more and more out of, mo out of money. We didn't have a lot of books, so we had to do download stuff. And uh, we went to Teachers Pay Teachers a lot. So there you have it. I'm going to have a free resource down below this video for you on one, how to do another business, how to create a business online, just not on Teachers Pay Teachers, but how to create your own business online. It would include Teachers Pay Teachers, but in addition to that, and I'm going to have a free resource, the, the 10 top tips to how you set up your business and teachers pay teachers. So there you have it. You all have a great school year. When we start back up again, you take care.